he talks about how the pains of death surround him. It's an interesting situation here. Imagine the psalmist in a crisis of life and death, a fatal crisis. And here he is saying, I love the Lord because he hears me. It is a fact that death is around me. It is a fact that the pangs of the grave have laid hold on me. We know what hunger pangs are. I think some of us are feeling that now. <laughs> the pangs of hunger grip your stomach. Mm. And it's not really in your control. So it's like, <laughs> it squeezes you. The pangs of the grave have gripped this psalmist. It's kind of beyond his natural control. But, he says, I call upon the name of the Lord. I implore you, Lord, deliver my soul. Not my body. My soul. This is what we talked about last Sunday, how the soul is what we really have to worry about, focus on. Not so much our physical body. Yes, God is a God of healing. Yes, He heals our physical body. But more important is, He is a God of our soul. And He is more concerned about where our heart is. Where is our soul? Are we just going to say, God, protect us from the virus? That's a good prayer. But a better prayer is to say, deliver my soul. You would think that someone in the grip of death would say, Save me. Save me physically from this situation. But in the grip of death, the psalmist says, Deliver my soul. When we are in the fear of something like a coronavirus, something which we have no control of, no cure for, it is natural for us, the sickness to start here. The sickness of fear of the natural death of the virus, the sickness of worry, of anxiety, of what's going to happen to me, what about my tomorrow, what about my business, what's going to happen to my income, that's where the sickness really starts. So in saying, Lord, deliver my soul, we start here. And even scientists know that when our spirit is happy, when our mind is at rest, when we are at peace, it heals even our body. It protects us. It brings our immunity up. Compared to when we are worried and in anguish and frantic, it goes hand in hand. When we say, Lord, deliver my soul, we are starting with the core. 